Kennedy veteran officiating crew on hand for this game five. Golden State looking to close things out. The back end checks it and floats it home. There it is. Sickle good for Green. Golden State on its heels and Bain takes advantage with a deep shot. The Warriors are averaging just under 24 points in the first quarter in this series. That's not like them. Well, it's because they're turning the ball over at a high rate in the first quarter, hence not getting the same number of possessions and shots. But there's Draymond right there. Listen, he can find that gap all day because Steven Adams is going to play inside. Count it. Jaron Jackson Jr. gets to the rim. 7-2 Grizzlies. Early in this game, didn't shoot it particularly well in game four. Can he get off the snide? We see soft bounce early. He was 0 of 7 from three point territory. Jackson puts it in. A three for Jaron Jackson. Five blocks on Monday night, but missed a big one late with a left hand. Curry off the double team. Green looking to get rid of it. Back to our cut. Curry swing. Now it's Thompson using the green screen, and Thompson drills it. But the two-man game, but just half the other night, they had 39 in the fourth quarter alone. Bain already made one. Another Desmond Bain with a downtown hit. Memphis is able to capitalize all four. Memphis averaging 29 points in the first quarter in this series. They've gotten off to solid starts throughout. Kaminga, the spin. Good defense. Kaminga gets the roll over Brooks. Brown in the last 25 years, we have seen their youth on display yeah. at different parts, not just in this series, the previous series against Minnesota. Oh, Jackson! He cans it from long range. Thompson, the banker, goes off a made three. Golden State is the tempo and scores swing Brooks probing ah! and he gets the roll and that's what I like to see from recall John Morant missed eight games towards the end of the regular season with the same right knee injury we should also mention that he's staying positive of for coach Jenkins Jackson should have shot it he should have. Green big finish here for Memphis coming up. Adams nails it. 54% of the about in rhythm early in this game. Same dealing with a back injury. Wiggins over Jackson for two. Straight away jumper for Ant. 17 points, 10 rebounds in game four. Just quietly went about his business. Yep. Yep. Tyus The teardrop. Low dribble by Curry. They'll wait for his teammates. Now step back. Splash! Steph Curry. Game four offensively is in. Kavon Looney for Golden State. Curry. Underneath he finds Looney. Looney. Monday night. This is an 8-0 run for the Warriors. Williams got a tough bump from Poole. All balance delivery goes. For the ones up short. Attack mode. Brooks. And it blocked away on the inside. Poole got over there defensively. And we get a timeout with 2.33 to go in this hotly contested opening quarter. Golden State and Memphis. to keep our eye on that one, just trying to find his rhythm to get back. You need his defense, you need his offense. Keep an eye on that. Eye. And his fiery personality and passion. The bravado, everything that comes with it. Williams, the pull-up is off, and Poole is there defensively. A foul is called, and Poole... Took a pop to the head. And this is one of the games, too, coming back home where the complimentary players really, I think, feel a comfort zone. Right, right, Cesare Williams being more aggressive. That time off the dribble, not settling for a three point shot in the corner. And those are the players I think that's going to get you over the top. If you're Memphis, you want to walk out of here and push it to game six. Yeah, yeah. Cesare Williams really needs to step up and have a really impactful game. Memphis opened up 8 of 11 from the field. Since that point, they've gone 2 of 11. Williams from Lancaster, California. One year at Stanford. Tenth overall pick in the draft. And the trust factor has gone up over the course 
of its rookie season. These are valuable playoff minutes for the 20-year-old. You know, he reminds me a lot of is McDaniel there in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. um, Jaden. Spin. Thompson. Nicely done by Clay Thompson. He's got nine points. He's gotten involved early. Yeah, we talked to Coach Mike Brown about not isolating them as he ran the park with a nice shot inside the Mooney gets him with the foul, but getting Clay involved early, which I thought was very important. Not that they're going to isolate and run a bunch of plays. They're going to put him in position where he can feel comfortable early in the game. Because I think that's so important for how the, that's going to dictate how Memphis is going to defensively have to guard around the perimeter. Looney called for the foul. Four team fouls. Free throws here for Brandon Clark. 22-23 NBA season ticket memberships now on sale across the league. Secure the best seats, best prices, best benefits for your favorite team. Visit NBATickets.com to learn more. Brandon Clark, his fingerprints were all over that opening round series against Minnesota. Not quite the same role here in well, round number two. Well, a different team, so your game plan is going to be a little different, but already off to a pretty good start. He comes out to defend Curry. Step back, Jay. No good. Rebounded by Anderson. Williams, no hesitation. Long rebound. Milton is in the game. Bain rims out, and Thompson is there with a minute and a half to go in this opening quarter. Yeah, two good looks that time by the Grizz. Not able to knock it in. They've missed their last five shots. Poor. Ricochet. Thompson. Bottom. Clay Thompson is feeling it.